Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. This is the removal of a yellow jacket's nest inside of a customer's house. It was actually in their daughter's bedroom wall. This nest was a multi-season nest, which means there were two full-term nests inside of there all in one. Plus, I have a little update on the squirrely squirrel. So here's the video. Check it out. Two shots. I heard them in the wall, by the way. They're like, they're like two feet off of the floor. Yes, I put it all high too. You put your stuff in there? Yeah. All right, so as you can see, the yellow jackets are coming in through an overhang roof above a porch. And this particular removal site was actually in a little girl's bedroom um, right about almost two feet above the floor so you can get a couple of scenes here just of me getting prepped up and set up a little behind the scenes stuff I don't usually include in my videos um, as you can hear I'm going through a respiratory infection so just bear with me I'm sorry if I sound a little goofy so just getting some things set up get my lighting set up um, and then getting my tools in place that way they're within arm's reach for when I actually get started with my uh, started cutting open the hole into the wall. And once the L-jacks start coming out that's when it gets to be a bit precarious and you don't want to be caught searching for tools uh, when you're in the midst of a swarm. Alright so I put a piece of duct tape on the wall so that way when I drill this hole to see if the nest is right there if any come out I can pop the duct tape over the hole and seal it up again and they started coming out so I got to uh, put that duct tape over top of that hole until I can get situated knowing that that's where the nest is. Missed. <laughs> All right, so first things first, as usual with any of my removals, is I take the hole that I cut open into the wall and start vacuuming up a few of the forgers that decided to come out of the hole and uh, just get that uh, pretty well buttoned up. So taking the Sawzall, trying to cut a little bit of a hole open just to make sure that I am directly over top of the nest. I don't want to make a massive hole and then just to find out that the, uh, the nest was down a little ways or up a little ways. But no, I went right into the nest. So they came swarming out pretty heavy. The uh, homeowner had been stung a couple times um, just walking in her front door due to these yellow jackets flying in. And just look at the numbers. I mean, there was a lot of yellow jackets in this nest. So this nest actually turned out to be a multi-season nest. There was um, old nest above the current nest that's in this wall. Um, I did not know that starting out. I just knew that there was a lot of activity. But, the, I mean, even this time of year, there, there would be a lot of activity anyway. So it's hard to distinguish without actually seeing the nest how, um, if it's a multi-season nest or if it's a single-season nest, it's just well advanced for the, uh, the time, of, time of the season. So this is a pretty old house, as you can tell that it's uh, it's lath and, and plaster walls. So uh, cutting into that with it, with my little keyhole saw it doesn't really work through plaster. Works better through um, works better on drywall. So I use the saws off, cut up this uh, the rafter, the um, had to cut up the stud and uh, cut out the uh, it's it was oak oak lath, so it wasn't easy to get through. Plus my blade was dull. That didn't help. And it dulls pretty quick anyway going into uh, plaster. So you can see there's at least the four tiers that I could see there straight ahead. Um, it seems like the majority of the uh, of the guards had flown out, so I started just to figure I'd cut the hole a little bigger. But uh, yeah, and of course there's always going to be more and more adults flying out. So 
but knowing that I was going to be the one fixing this hole, I didn't want to make a massive hole if I could help it. And uh, not that I try to make a massive hole anyway, but um, just wanted to try to keep the damage to a minimum in the meantime until I could come back and finish uh, repairing the wall. So as you can see, it's a nice stacking mess coming out of there. A little slow-mo. And skadoosh. Five tiers high, it looks like. And uh, what I didn't know is that there was actually more nest above it, but it was it was old nest from the previous year. So what I think had happened is that a queen had left the nest. Well, there's a queen right there next to my thumb. So I think a queen had hatched, several queens had hatched, and it didn't venture very far. It, uh, it probably slowed down with inside that wall as it got cold. As you can see, there's no insulation in this wall. So the cold probably killed the mo majority of the, of the workers in the colony, but did not kill the queen that, uh, that was wintering over inside that wall. So she, she wintered over in there and then started a new colony the following season in the same spot, which is usually only common when the nest from the previous year is where she winters over. So just double checking to make sure I got all of the stuff out of the nest, or I got all the stuff out of the wall. And it was just hordes of envelope up inside of there. And it's always the most precarious part of this type of job is just reaching my arm up into the unknown. And reaching down to the wall to pull out some of the envelope that, and the uh, comb that I knocked down off of the top of the wall. And one more pull out for good measure. Ooh, there's a lot in there. It's always so cool going from removal to removal like this. I think this is the third one that I did this day. And it's always interesting to see how different each removal is. So even though I, I would cut into several walls during the daytime, each nest is just so uniquely different and it's always interesting to see what comes out or what I find when I cut the wall open. Sometimes you see a small little nest, sometimes you see massive nests, sometimes you see multi-season nests or super nests. So it really just depends on the colony before and the colony that you're taking out. And of course the species. You can see a lot of the numbers that had flown out of the wall and it stayed up on the window and purposely leave the windows closed um, except for the screen so that way they get stuck there Cooking. and the yellow jackets do cook on the light and it smells like waffles That's amazing That's a year's worth and look at all that nest in there holy cats so I know this is a great image but it's uh, my cell phone just pointing my cell phone down to the wall so I could see if there was any other comb in there, which there was, it was just envelope. And a lot of workers that are dying due to um, due to some black flag fogging spray that I sprayed down in there.
go out to see Squirrely Squirrel. He's still living in the greenhouse. Oh, Squirrely Squirrel. Squirrely Squirrel. Oh, Humphrey. Squirrely Squirrel. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Hey, squirrely squirrel. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Squirrely squirrel. He's a nice squirrel. He's a nice squirrel. Oh, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, squirrel, squirrel. Nice squirrel, squirrel. Are you enjoying that cheese in your hut, Squirrely Squirrel? Hi, Humphrey. Hi, Humphrey. What a nice Squirrely Squirrel. And when you're finished, you can have these pieces of cheese, too. Oh, Squirrely Squirrel. Hey, nice Squirrely Squirrel. What a nice, what a nice Squirrel. Oh, that's a nice Squirrely Squirrel. You have a nice hump, Squirrely Squirrel. You have a nice hump, Squirrely Squirrel. What a nice home for a Squirrely Squirrel, for a Humphrey. Oh, there you are. Enjoy your food. Let's go eat squirrel. I'm going back inside because it's absolutely freezing out here. And I still have a respiratory infection. So I'm actually working on renovating this room. This is actually going to be my studio slash office space. Um, right now, all the way over there, over there in the corner, is where I've been doing all of my videos, all the editing and everything in there. So it's about freaking time that I get this all situated and set up so I can have my own actual office. So and we have the desk and things over here. Whoops, stepping on stuff. Um, and then on this wall here is where I'll be doing like a lot of my intros and uh, have a nice backdrop on there. So <clears throat> really excited to get this done. And uh, it's been quite a work in progress. Um, I have, I'll probably include some video or some pictures here coming up. Showing what this room looked like before. This is actually where I was keeping the possums um, for a while uh, when I had them. For those of you who have seen that. So I'll be doing some carpet in here and uh, probably some vinyl plank flooring or something. Um, but in the meantime, just getting the uh, drywall buttoned up. So... All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos or something you'd like to see me cover in the upcoming video, also drop in the comments. Let me know. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit that bell notification. That way you guys get an update anytime I do post a video. 
If you guys are continuing subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and, cho and choosing to watch my videos and supporting my content. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.